Okay, boys, sorry for the interruption. So, where were we? We were, we were basically going for mailings. We started the mail merge. Sorry, because there was some connection dropout. So, uh, I just had to disconnect. So, my start mail merge, letters. We were there, right? And then we selected the recipients. Since I told you that I used an existing list, I already typed new, uh, I have already typed one. So, we will use existing list. And where was my list? It was on the desktop in the folder where my data was right when I double click it the moment I double click it all the rest of the options become highlighted become available to me almost all of them so I don't need any other fields right now just the one insert merge field now and now how to how to judge that whether my document has been merged properly remember in my data table I had only three columns name class and section so when I go to insert field I will have these three columns so this means that my document has been merged properly now what we will do is over here instead of this like dash we are pleased to announce you announce that your son dash now what should come over here either the name or the class or the section obviously the name so we will click name over here your name your son name has been admitted to our school his class is we will insert class over here and then in section is we will insert section over here now this is the way it's done but since we are new to it what we will do for the time being we will highlight the names and the section for so we can easily check whether it's working properly or not and whether the document has been merged so we can see it instantly okay now at this time when we have inserted all the fields we will save this file by the names of fields inserted in the same folder okay and then we will not at all close the document see we're still connected everything is here we just saved the document so after inserting the fields we will go for finish and merge now finish and merge may either you have the option of print the documents which we will not be doing right now we have to go for edit individual documents then the computer will ask you do you want to merge all the records remember we had five records we have this we had the data of five students so i want to merge all the records not the current one not from particular roll number to roll number but also the moment i will click see this is page one of one the moment i will click ok automatically five pages will be made and each page will have a certain student's name and its personal information. Abdullah 1A, go to the next page, Ali 2B. It's the same as my data, Bilal 3C. Then we had Daud 4D and down, down, Faris 5E. Okay, so this is what we needed to do obviously you could have ignored these lines i'm just telling you how the mail merge works so this document now you will save as final document or finished merge finished whatever you want okay final doc is fine so when i end my so this was basically mail merge in the end i am in my folder I will have three files one for data one for fields inserted and one for final document I hope you understand it do try it out at home because we will be discussing it in the online sessions okay thank you Allah Hafiz